Here's tips and tricks with Tyler and Terry. Hey guys. Making a half pass with the screed. Man, I need TNT here so I can figure out how to do this half pass. What's, What's up, up Donnie? Donnie? Oh, hey guys. Uh, try and do a half pass for the first time. I figured you guys have some tips and tricks for me we to get sure this do. done right. Absolutely. It's superhero setup time. <sighs> no, man, we're not gonna do superhero setup. We've already done that. It's a little different than superhero setup. Few things we're gonna adjust on that. I figured. So, so you want me to go up top? Yes. All right. You guys ready to pay the half pass? So Donnie, just like superhero setup, we have our toe points set. We have floated the screed, nulled out our hand cranks. We've set our auger height. But what's gonna be different is that we're only gonna be running with half of the screed. Yeah. So the right side, we're gonna actually put screed assist in and we're going to transition or we're gonna divert all of our screed assist pressure to the left-hand side to help hold that side up as we pave because there's not gonna be any mix there. Okay, let's do so, that. We can easily go there by going to our screed assist page, this right here, and we're gonna run it up to 50%. That's a good number because it's gonna put all the pressure on that uh, left side. So once we have got our 50% here, we go into F3 and we're gonna divert all of our pressure to that left side right here. All right, and the bar show which that is going to. Exactly. So that's where it's easy. So now once all of this is set, we can turn our screed assist on. You're gonna see the pressures come up here. And when we actually start paving, you're gonna see all that pressure go to that left side to help hold the screed up. All right, perfect. Hey, you want me to run the autofill? No, 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 we don't wanna autofill because we're gonna short feed it. If autofill is a great feature, but in this situation, it can put too much mix over on the left-hand side, which could cause for a lot of handwork. Oh, you ready for me to start the machine? Yep. All right. So we're gonna short feed it and get ready to go. Okay, great. That's a uh, tips and tricks I was looking for, man. So grab your remote. So now all we're doing is you're just wanting to short feed the conveyors to just keep the augers fed because you're wanting to keep that center empty. So as you're only paving with half the screen. All right, let's go. So you see they're speeding up a little bit. So, all right, so you, you feed a little more. All right, that's it. All right. Because it's gonna feed out right here and it sees that it's full. So we can actually change our sensor a little bit to the front. There you go, you're getting it. You are getting it now. Well, thanks Donnie for coming out here and trying to learn more about your machine and trying to do different things like this half pass with it. I mean, the line's a little wavy. A little seasick, but uh, you know, you got better as you get uh, further along in the past, which that's what, that's what we want. We want you to get better as you use the machine because you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Oh, so, yeah. And the training center is where I'd make mistakes, right? That's right. It's a great so, place. Do uh, you have any questions? Oh, uh, yeah, I do have one question. So I use screed assist for the traction control issue, and now I'm using it for a half pass. When else would I use screed assist for? That's a great question, Donnie. You use screed assist on traction control. You start it at 0% and increase it until you resolve the issue. On this half pass, we start at a hard number, 50% all the oil on the unconfined edge. You could use screed assist with a poor load bearing capacity, and you can use it in radiuses. In most of those situations, you're gonna start at zero and increase it until the problem goes away. But you need to use it, learn how the machine reacts to the material, and have fun with it. And the CTT, that's a great place to be. You can sign up for classes here on this QR code. I think you did a great job. I think I think we need to get a straight line on this. What do you think? Yeah, let's do some more practice, man. That's All right, what I think. hot five, let's do this. Uh, no, no, no. Get out of here. you're a little aggressive you're too that. aggressive. I got blisters on my hands from last time. Yep. Thank you.